Number 15, Bonobo Monkey. For humans, a greeting would be seen as a smile or handshake, but for Bonobo Monkey, sex is used as a greeting, to conflict resolution, or even to celebrate when food is found. Number 14, Banana Slug. These creepy slugs are some horrifying mating rituals. With the male's penis averaging the same size as its body, this leads to them needing to find the right size female slug. If the parts don't fit, the female has been known to rip it off. Ouch. Number 13, Brown Antichinus. These little guys have been known to love sex so much that they eventually roll over and die. The male brown antichinus pretty much drops everything to mate with as many females as he can. Spending 12 hours at a time making love to one, they end up starving, have a suppressed immune system, severe ulcers and are at the mercy of parasites. Number 12, snails. Snails are hermaphrodites, which means they have both female and male parts. Let's face it, these ugly creatures aren't something you want to see mating. Known as donkey punching, one snail will literally shoot the other in the head with a love dart. This is made up of a weird calcified spike and is used to convince the other to trade small packets of sperm. Being hermaphrodites, they fertilize each other, then part ways. Number 11, hippos. Okay, male hippos have a pretty weird way of attracting their lady hippo. They position themselves where their potential mate can see them and then they piss and shit themselves. Yep, you heard that correctly, and if that wasn't bad enough, they spin their tail around so as to spray their stinking filth. This is apparently irresistible to the ladies. Hmm, I must try that one. Number 10, flatworms. Like snails, flatworms are also hermaphrodites. In order to decide who is the male in the mating ritual, the two flatworms get into a fight known as penis fencing. The two whip out their peckers and battle out until one flatworm loses and becomes the female. Number 9, Earwigs. Most species have only one penis, but earwigs have got two. They have them on each side which is known as the right ready or left ready. Because their many parts are super delicate, they can sometimes snap off. This ensures that they can swap sides when needed. Number 8, right sided garter snake. These creepy snakes pretty much go for the full on group sex. We're not talking 3 or 4 snakes at a time, we're talking 30,000. When a female joins a crowd, up to 100 males will jump her and then form a mating ball. The snakes call around one another in attempt to be the one lucky dude who does the deed. Number 7. Bowerbirds. Male bowerbirds are known as the super home designers. To with their lovers, they build elaborate and colourful shrines known as bowers. Decorated with bright objects, the colours alternate depending on the species. Bowers have been found built with anything from flowers, berries and seashells. The plastic beads, coins, broken glass or even rifle shells. The females then choose their male partner based on their decorative skills. Number 6. Water striders. These little guys are known to be daredevils and like to add some danger to their mating rituals. To make the mating experience more exhilarating, male water striders have been known to tap the water with their legs to attract predatory fish. Scientists speculate that this little risky move encourages the female to mate quickly in order to avoid being fish food. Number 5. Red Cap Mannequin When the male red cap mannequin comes across a female, he likes to charm her with some sweet dance moves. These cute dance moves resemble Michael Jackson's moonwalking. Number 4. Bedbugs Okay, I won't blame you if you think the next animal mating is from a horror movie. To inseminate the females, the male bedbugs basically stab a random hole into her admin with his male member and inseminates her. We found this mating ritual particularly nasty. Number 3. Bees Male bees, known as drones, have no stingers and do not produce honey. They have only one purpose in life, to mate with the queen. But these drones are on a suicide mission. Chosen from a dozen bees, the successful bee starts mating with her. During intercourse, his genitals literally explode. The bee drone then falls to the ground and dies. His penis remains inside the queen, stopping any further insemination. Number two, straw itch mites. After they are born, the male straw itch mites hang around their mum, stinging her to suck out her body fluids. The male mites are born sexually mature. In fact, they will immediately grab a mate with their sister within minutes of her birth. Number one, anglerfish. Once the male anglerfish reaches a certain age, his digestive system shuts down because he can no longer live or eat on his own. He basically has to find a female. But how he does that is the next horrific thing. Once he finds the right female, he then bites her, releasing enzymes that bonds their flesh together for good. Living off the female, the male anglerfish releases sperm whenever she's ready to lay eggs.